Hello everybody, Quiet Atheist here. It turns out that there is this particular individual who decided to take it upon himself to tell me that religion basically doesn't harm people, that people harm people. While I beg to differ on this particular subject and I'm going to show you why. I am fully aware that people can harm people. That is not what I'm trying to dispute here. But what I am trying to dispute is the fact that religion in its entirety had a very big, significant role in this particular situation that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Look at it this way. A young child got harmed because of religion. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to this child because of religion. Now I could talk about the Shivals, but I think my friend Live Life 8072 is doing a pretty good job with them. So with that said, I want to talk about a different family altogether. This family is known as the Wyland family. And they are members of a controversial church known as the Followers of Christ Church. And just to shed a little bit of light on this particular subject, this church is located in Oregon City. The church is notorious for prohibiting members from seeking medical attention, favoring prayer over medical treatment. The young baby that was involved in this particular situation goes by the name Elena. It turns out that when she was born, there was a growth over the left eye, and it ended up taking over the entire left side of her face. While her parents, the Wylands, decided that it wasn't necessary for them to seek medical attention for her. Instead, they decided to do what their particular church and religion endorsed, and that was pray over the baby to make the baby's health better. They also used holy oils according to them, but in all actuality, none of these things did this baby any good. This particular baby's health was getting worse. The baby was getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and this prayer involving this particular religion did nothing for this baby. During the trial a doctor testified that this young baby even with surgery had less than 30 percent chance of regaining her sight in her left eye. Bottom line, I think that it is pretty safe to say that not only were the Wylands responsible for this atrocity, religion was responsible for this atrocity as well. Because after all, it was religion that promoted this type of mindset to begin with. This young baby's eyesight deteriorated because of this religion. This young baby's health deteriorated because of this religion. How many young children have to be subjected to this kind of danger for people to snap? I just don't understand. And that is why I have a problem with people that do not understand why I call this type of religion a mental illness. Just look at it. Look at the evidence with the Shibles as well. Young innocent lives are being victimized because these religions promote this idea that Jesus is going to come down and heal these young sick kids. And that is not the case. They are gambling with these kids lives and they seem to justify it with this religion. Not only that, they seem to think that they can get a pass because of their religion. This is cruelty against kids. These kids are being harmed like I said. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I mean this is incredible. I actually detest these individuals. I cannot stand these individuals. They are harming society as we know it with this type of mindset and it is not fair to the young kids again that are being subjected to this kind of monstrosity. It is crazy. But like I said let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Feel free to share my video with anyone that might be interested whether it be on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, wherever you guys hang out. I mean, when is enough enough? I don't know. 
maybe one day they will be able to outlaw this type of stuff because the children again are being jeopardized and that's all I have to say till next time the quiet atheist is out and remember guys if you can't be good be good at it okay I've had my say now it's your turn please subscribe rate make a comment let me know what you think of this video your opinion is important to me thanks for watching <laughs>